Hello guys, um, welcome everybody. So today I just wanted to come to you guys and I wanted to talk to you really quickly. I had got a word of knowledge yesterday, I believe it was, and I wrote it down on a piece of paper. I'm going to read it to you really quickly. The word is, uh, so, so he gave me a question. So why did our parents do that and why doesn't God care? This is the question that a lot of people ask when they're starting to get to know God or when they're wondering about God. The first thing that they say is, well, this happened to me, so I'm not going to believe in God. So let's just start there. So this is what I wrote. No, he does care. And God was angry about what happened too. But we all have free will and we all make our own choices. Do not draw away from God the father because of what happened this is what the enemy wants to help draw you away as far away from god as possible guys the number one thing is always remember how much you are loved when bad things happen to us we forget how much we're loved we forget that that god is with us we forget that that Jesus died for our sins. We forget these things and it's so sad. It makes me so sad. Even bad things have happened to me and during those times that's when I draw closer to God. It makes me so sad for the people who don't have that relationship, who don't have that closeness, who don't know God and that's why I do these videos. That's why I try to come on here and witness as much as I can and talk about God and talk about his love and talk about his mercy and it doesn't matter what you do you cannot remove yourself from his love no matter what you do and so that was the question that he wanted to answer why did our parents do that why doesn't God care he said why doesn't my parents do that because he, he's talking about everybody he's talking about and, and when you get a word of knowledge, it kind of just is downloaded in you so you kind of know what it means. So people say, oh, my mom did this, or my dad did this, or people who are molested, people who are something bad happens to them. They got raped or something crazy happens to them. Anybody in the world, but he wants you to know that because that happened to you, he's with you, though. He was with you. He, he was... He was he is always with us and he's angry about that too believe me he's angry about it you are his child he loves you he is the father he created you and for somebody to do wrong to you he's angry but right now i'm gonna tell you that earlier when i was in my time with the Lord I was reading my Bible and usually when I'm reading sometimes he'll tell me what to read sometimes he won't in this scenario I was I was getting ready to read and he told me Romans like okay so I go to Romans start reading Romans start taking my notes on Romans start reading through it um, I wrote down some good stuff that I really liked and um, that's how I spend my time with God but reading Romans and writing down my notes and everything like that. As I was sitting here and I was doing this video, I had to start doing it over again because my phone died. While, while I was doing that, I hear in my head, vengeance is the Lord's. So as I'm reading this, people get so angry, they get hurt and they, they want to, they want to, stay in that anger they want to be vengeful they want to say how can i get them back or i hate people i hate this i hate that they get they keep so much anger so i heard vengeance is the lord is the lord's so i'm looking up on my phone as it's charging i'm looking up on my phone vengeance is the lord's to try to get into my bible where is vengeance is the lord so i can find the scripture well that scripture is actually in romans so it's just crazy when God puts two and two together. It's like, wow, it's like it really hits you. But I wanted to read this to you. This is Romans 12, 19. My dear friends, don't try to get even. Leave room for God to show his anger. It is written, I am the God who judges people. I will pay them back. Deuteronomy 32, 35 says the Lord. 
do just the opposite scripture says if your enemies are hungry give them food to eat if they are thirsty give them something to drink by doing those things you will pile up burning coals on their heads proverbs 25 21 22 don't let evil overcome you overcome evil by doing good it is so amazing when god puts things on your heart and he wants you to share and you share and you're obeying and you could just feel his love all over you and you understand why you're here you understand your purpose you're trying to do those things and today was kind of one of those days for me i've just been not mopey but just trying to make the best of the day i guess and this right here this video really means a lot to me right now because I want everybody to feel the love of God that I feel and I want everybody to be saved and I want everybody to know Jesus and know that he died for you and for your sins so that you can be forgiven so that you can be in union with him and with God and have the Holy Spirit live within you and really 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 do his will in life and and find your purpose and your place in life and this word was really important and special because I, I just feel like so many people are angry with God and God saying, no, I was there with you. I am sorry that happened to you. I, I know what happened. I seen it. And, and could you only imagine all this stuff that God has had to see, all the tears that he's had to cry himself and all the the tears that he's seen you cry and all the bad times he's seen you go through and he's angry he's angry just like your father would be just like your mother would be just like somebody who cares about you would be just like you are but we have to let the anger go we have to be filled with christ we have to be filled with that love we have to say vengeance is the lord's it's not for us to do that it's not for us to be angry god wants the best for you how can you have the best if you are continuing to hold that anger hold that grudge that is what the enemy wants that's not what christ wants for you that's not what what your life needs to be so many people are in addiction so many people are hurt, so many people are angry, so many people are mean to others because of the things that have happened to them. And God is saying, he was with you. He's sorry, he is angry too. The vengeance is his though, you don't have to worry about it. Give it to him, put it in his hands. Say, I can't do the anger anymore, God. Please take it from me. I can't, I, remove it from my heart, please. Please. You have to, you have to let it go. You have to, have to, have to. There's no other way around it. I'm sorry if your church hurt you. I'm sorry if people who claim to love God and really didn't even know God, really didn't even have a relationship with God, are telling you things, mean things, doing bad things to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's not the way Jesus is. That's not the way God is. That's not who I know. That's not what the Bible, that's not what this book says. That's not who it is. Those are people who are making their own choices and their own free will. And they're using his name for it. That's not okay. But stuff like that happens. This is why we need to know what's in the book. That's why we need to know what God says. That's why we need to know why Jesus died for us. That's why we need to know ourselves. And stop taking it from other people. Stop taking it from somebody who didn't even read the Bible themselves. Stop. Read it yourself. Study to show yourself approved. If you don't know God... Open up your mind maybe a little bit. Say, you know what, just, just show me a little bit. Let me read this book. Let me, let me try to see what could be in it. Get your wheels turning about it. God will lead you. He'll direct you. You won't even know he's doing it, and he'll do it anyway because he loves you. He loves you. He puts people in your path. If you're watching this video, it's for a reason. Because he, he, he wants to bring people to show you who he is. He wants to tell you that he loves you. He wants you to cry out for him. He wants to help. He wants to be there for you. He wants to fill you up. He wants to let you know that the enemy will do anything and say anything and try anything to get you as far away as possible from him. That's what he wanted me to write down. 
That's exactly what he wanted me to say to you. He will do whatever he has to do in order for you to not have a relationship with God. And that's the truth. It's not all roses and popsicles and all this stuff. No, there's a spiritual warfare that you have no idea about until you open up your mind to it. Until you understand that people do bad things because the enemy has them tied up. The enemy has them binded. It has nothing to do with God. That's their own choice to go that way. We all have a choice. We all have a choice to love God, to live by what he's asking us to live by. To ask for his will to be done in our life. What choice are you going to make today? Are you going to stay mad? Are you going to stay angry? Are you going to hold a grudge? It's so much harder to hold a grudge, guys, than to just let it go and say, vengeance is the Lord's. That's it. I can't do it anymore, God. I put it in your hands. I give it to you. I know things happen to me, but I can't live with this anymore. I can't live with the anger. We're not supposed to live with anger. We were not meant for it. That's why Jesus died, so we didn't have to live that way. He died for us, for our sins, so that we can live a happy, healthy life. Be healthy. I just want to pray right now. I just want to pray for you guys. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you do for us. God, I'm so grateful for this channel. I'm so grateful for this platform called YouTube. I'm so grateful for people that are on it that I listen to. I'm so grateful for the people that are listening right now. Father, I thank you that you love your people. Father, I thank you that no matter what we've been through, all the bad things, God, that you're still here for us, that you were there with us. God, that when they cried out that you heard them, Lord Jesus, even though they thought that you didn't, God, you still did. No matter what they think, no matter what the people think, God, you did. You were there. You're angry, God. And the vengeance is yours, God. So I thank you right now, Jesus. I thank you, God, that the people who are listening, God, in the name of Jesus, they will let it go right now, God. Father, I declare, God, that no matter what somebody did to them, the hurt, the anger, the pain that they feel, Lord, that they will begin to let it go. I declared in the name of Jesus, they would let it go right now. Father, we thank you for renewed minds. We thank you, God, that we can wake up tomorrow and we can feel better about our day. God, I thank you that anger is removed right now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that the devil is under your feet right now in the name of Jesus. God, that no weapon formed against these people shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you right now that they're going to draw closer to you, closer than they've ever been. God, anybody who's listening to this right now, God, I pray, God, that you just fill them up with your Holy Spirit right now, God, and I can feel it right now on me. I can feel your Holy Spirit, God, so I know you're working through me, Lord Jesus. Father, I just thank you for anointing your people, God. I thank you for a peace that surpasses all understanding. I thank you that you're going to fill them up, God. You're going to remove all the badness that happened to them, God. You're going to renew their mind in the name of Jesus, Father. I just thank you so much right now that you're working on hearts, God. You're softening their hearts, God, so they can be more like your son, Jesus. God, that he died for us. He died for our sins, Lord, God, that they would give their life to you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your son, Jesus. God, I thank you so much that I don't have to live with my with my sins anymore, God, that I can repent, I can ask forgiveness, God, and they will be wiped away. God, you take them away. You take them away, God. Father, I thank you so much for everything that you do for me, Lord Jesus. God, and I thank you for every person listening to this right now, God. Father, I thank you for their mind. I thank you for who they are. I thank you, God, that we don't have to live in condemnation, Lord God, but we can come to understand you. We can come to knowledge through, your, through you, God, through your word. Father, I thank you so much, God. Father, and I pray that everyone on this channel will be blessed in the name of Jesus, God. Amen. You guys, I just feel so good right now, and I just really hope that you felt that because it really comes from a place in my heart that's just so deep. I love God so, so, so much, and I hope that you begin to feel all that he's placed inside of you and that you start to remove the things that you don't need in you and allow him to work on you and allow him to help you 
and start to form that relationship, guys. It's the only way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And we need him. Even though we think we're tough and we don't, we do. We need him. And I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever morning, whenever you're listening to this. Um, you guys be blessed, okay?